Last month we had an implementation contest because our goal is to get you not just to learn stuff but to actually do stuff. So we want to reward the behavior that we want to repeat. So last month, Adrian, who is not here, put an ad in the Jewish Journal. Adrian is a certified divorce financial analyst. She's a financial planner for divorcing people, for people who are getting divorced. So her ad was empowering women in transition. Your financial freedom begins today. And basically that's her business card and her picture. And I happened to see the ad in the Jewish Journal and I said, Adrian, are you open to us redoing this ad for you? Because this ad, how many phone calls did you get? She said, zero. I said, right. Are you open to us fixing it? She said, sure, but I'm going to take a crack at fixing it first since now you said it should be fixed. So Adrian, who's getting thrown under the bus because she's not here, came back with this ad. So how does this ad make you feel? Tell me what you think when you see it. Those of you who work for me, you're not allowed to answer. I think it's better than the other one. It is better than the other one. Sad. I agree with sad. Stressful, Dean. Like soliciting from an attorney to divorce an attorney. Thank you. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's exactly what we said. Cheesy divorce lawyer. Um, now, what you wouldn't know reading this ad is Adrian's the author of a book about divorce which we wrote, helped her write and publish and our marketing. I said, there's no book. So the new version of the ad done by our wonderful graphic designer, Kristen, obviously much more about the book than the sad lady. It's much easier to look at. Yes. The ad, yeah. Yes. It's, it's selling for product. Not, it exactly. Not the divorce. No. Right, you are, the, the whole point of the book is supposed to be lead generation. It's supposed to position her as an authority figure, credible, credible expertise, get people, first step, get, read them the book, get them to read the book, then the next step is get them in her office. So Adrian, thank you for submitting. Our other entrance was this guy known as Slick Rodney. So Kevin was playing with Snapchat one day and found this filter of the hair and the glasses and said, this is guy reminds me of Slick Rodney, the car, used car salesman from the 70s, I think. I might be messing up the story a little bit. So he started making videos as Slick Rodney. I said, it's funny. I said, put up, he was getting good engagement on his Facebook fan page. I said, put up a fan page for Slick Rodney. You would first notice yes. the LinkedIn update. Now, what is the yes. job update? What did you, what is this? So he, he did a technique that I taught in a previous month, which was you should update your, you should add a new job to your LinkedIn profile once a month. You don't need a new job. Just it's a new client that you worked with. It's a new project that you're working on. It's another service that you offer because it will, LinkedIn will email everybody in your network and say, congratulate Bill on his new position. And then 12 months later, it will say, say happy anniversary to Bill for his position. So you will notice my LinkedIn profile has tons and tons and tons of stuff on it. Every month, at least twice, everyone in my LinkedIn network is getting a congratulate Seth. And it gets phone calls because people are like, hey, I didn't know you guys did that. I didn't know what that was. So Kevin did it. He implemented. He put a new post up. He put a new job as Slick Rodney. I, I did a dynamic brand marketing strategist. Yes. He changed his job title. <laughs> In addition to West Her Car Sales, the dy dynamic brand strategy, something or other that he just said. And I said, what the heck is that? And he said, well, Slick Rodney's going into marketing. Um, so he's going to sell cars and endorse people's products and he's going to be a personality. And I said, that's awesome. I said, put up a Facebook fan page and let's see where we've gotten to.
So Kevin obviously has some personality, <laughs> and we brought it out on purpose. Um, so we built a fan page. Um, we started running some ads. If you want to be slick like me, like my page for lots of hilarity. Uh, first week we had 150. I think we're up to about 430 followers right now. More than that. More than that. I think 500 now. All right. The ads are costing us about 22 cents a follower, which is dirt cheap. Um, we also, interesting dynamic, this was like the first hour. Um, men liked Slick Rodney more than the ladies. Men cost 31 cents a like, women cost 38 cents. Women were more expensive. Men now are down to about 22 cents a like. Um, our age range, 25 to 34, was 66 cents a like. Our cheapest was 35 to 44 for 21 cents. And if you were over the age of 65, it cost us 73 cents to get you to like Slick Rodney. Probably because you might have thought he was obnoxious or something. <laughs> then we did something we taught in another session. We built an automated Facebook Messenger bot for Slick Rodney. So when Bruce said, I want to be slick, it says, hey, Bruce, thanks so much for wanting to know how I got to be so slick. Message me back yes so I know for sure you're serious about being slick like me. Bruce says yes. What email address do you want me to send your Slick Rodney secrets to? Enter your email. He enters his email and it continues the conversation. Awesome, stay tuned for my Slick Secrets. If you ever want to be boring and not slick, send the stop message and I'll leave you alone. That's an unsubscribe yeah. message, but we made it funny. Um, so Kevin now has people commenting on that post, I want to be slick, which enrolls them in his messenger bot. He is shooting or, is a, or just shot his first Seat Slick Secret, which we're going to blast out to everybody. Um, and we're going to grow this. One is a case study. Two, because it's funny. And three, he has a, a woman in his BNI chapter who he's going to do a Slick Rodney endorsement of her product for. And we're going to run some ads to that and turn this into, if we can build it big enough, Slick Rodney could have an endorsement career. Yeah, the, so the yesterday at my chapter meeting she was she was handing out it was a new product that she had gotten at a trade show um, that she's going to be carrying it's a it's a slimming instant coffee so you can make it a nice coffee you can make it a hot coffee um, coffee that makes you thin yeah so the first the first person that she thought of to give it to was me i said well, absolutely i'll write a review i'm like oh, what i have to go one step further I messaged her after I had it. I said it was absolutely fantastic. I literally had a bottle, of, a bottle of water, and I turned it into a nice coffee. I said I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and slick ratify this, <laughs> which is now a word. I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a twofer, so it's gonna be my first secret of slick, and couple that and give you a dynamic review, so you could put it on your on your business page now. Yep, and hopefully there'll be a link, yep. so. so that people can go buy it. And Slick Rodney can start generating some funny revenue. I made references with the like, back in my day, like, this is never around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that changes your face enough that, is, does that all twist your, make your face shorter and, and because of wider? It, no, I'm just shorter and wider. Mm -hmm. No, it's literally, it's just the, it's <laughs> just, just the glasses. Just wearing yeah. glasses. Yeah. Because you looked me, you don't look. Okay, it's distorted yeah. a little bit on there. If you look at, okay. if you look at it in real time on the phone or on the computer, mm -hmm. it's more. All right, so my other question is, have you managed to get, because Snapchat isn't going to keep it forever, have you found the wig and the glasses? I found a couple that are very similar. So my take, if, I'm, if, if I go with the one that I'm looking at, um, it's not going to be exact. But my take on that is I can go on a video, I can say Slip Rock, has got to do Slip Dude. Yes, you know I mean? exactly. And I could go ahead and endorse, you know, my hairstyles at that point and get her some business over at her salon. And then of course, if they're posting your videos, then some of their people will come back to you. Exactly. It'll be the Slick Rodney Network. Yes. Well. S-R-N. S-R-N. I'm going to nominate, I'm, I'm going to say S-R-N def wins our monthly implementation contest. Let's give Kevin a hand. Here's your hundred bucks. So if you implement next month, you could win too. All right. Um, did everybody eat? All right, we're gonna take a break from content for a minute. 
um, because in addition to Kevin winning, it has also recently been Kevin's birthday. So if everyone will join me, we got a lemon cake so that you don't sell anybody a lemon. <laughs> He's a car dealer now. <laughs> Have, oh wait, we need candles. We need candles. I can blow the lemons off. Use, the use the ones on the... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kevin and Slick Rodney. Birthday to you. Yay. I love the conflicting birthday wishes. Yes. All right, we will get a picture of that for Slick Rodney.